Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in at the range now. And we're going to do a range comparison with the CZ97BD and the Springfield Armory 1911 operator, both full size 45 ACP handguns. The operator has a five inch barrel. The CZ97 has a 4.65 inch barrel, but when you align them, they are pretty close. Both steel frames, both heavy duty, but they are very different. Let's start with the CZ 97 BD. If any handgun replicates the Shadow 2 and 45, this is it. It has aluminum grips, 10 round mags, comes with two 10 round mags. MSRP on this is 945. CZ discontinued it. Why'd they do that? I don't know. A lot of people consider this one of the finest 45s out there. The single action trigger pull measures right at four pounds with a very nice reset. Some of these came with night sights. This has two dot in the rear, fiber optic front sight, forward serrations for the press checks. It has loaded chamber indicator pin that sticks up right there. And this is the decocker model. It decocks the hammer into quarter cock. Double action, not bad. Little fatter grip because it's a double stack with the CZ97 BD. It also has a barrel bushing right there. All right, and it comes with a wrench to take that off. It is threaded inside of the upper and it keeps the barrel nice and tight. 10 round mags, 12 yards away. Let's take a few shots here. Yeah, this thing is sweet. And a lot of people say that's a great 45 ACP. And many people wondered why did CZ discontinue it? Has to be for sales. That's the only reason I can think of. But the 97 BD in 45 with that nice single action trigger. But here we have the Springfield Armory operator. This has VZG10 grips here and it comes with two eight round mags. Now, you're either gonna love the 1911 or you're gonna want a double action, single action handgun. That's the greatest difference, both full size. This has a pick rail that the CZ does not. Both have forward serrations. Two dot rear sights, tritium front dot. And once again, the single action trigger measures right at four pounds with a shorter reset. Man, I love 1911s. This is gonna be a tough one because I own both these and I think they're both pretty phenomenal. Looks like my sight over there turned a little bit. We may still try to hit that, but let's shoot these eight rounds from the Springfield Armory operator. MSRP on this is right around $1,100. All right, so knocked off the 10 inch and then the, the other one is turned. So the operator, fine handgun, love it. Uh, right around $1,100. It does have a coated black frame and slide. I think it looks cool. Flat dark earth, VZ G10 grips, nice trigger, skeletonized hammer and trigger and Mechgar mags, love Mechgar mags, love CZ mags. Here we have the 97 BD and the Springfield Armory operator. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. If they did not discontinue this, I typically choose 1911 all day long. I'm a huge fan, I love the operator. I think Springfield does a phenomenal job with the 1911s, but because they discontinued it, and I've wanted this for years, actually. I really, I really wanted this for years. I got my hands on this, and then soon after that, they discontinued it. I'm choosing the 97 BD. I have plenty of 1911s. I think that is a solid choice, but the Springfield Armory operator, this can compare with any 1911 out there. It's pretty phenomenal. I hope I demonstrated and spoke about each one of these handguns. I hold them both in high esteem. What I really wanna know is which one would you choose? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.